What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another dope team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Sandstream Tyranitar team alongside with Sandrush, Stricklefish, Defiant Obscoon, and Bolt Absorb Thunderous. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it does go a long way. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, join the hype and help me hit 10,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. But starting off with this team, we have Obstagoon up in that top left corner. He's got that Defiant ability, so Intimidate Pokemon or Stat Changing Pokemon, it's going to be tough to play up against him because we get that Defiant boost and we're all from there. We also have the Chewy Scarf as our item and then that move set of Knock Off, Snarl, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and Switch Rue to swap items with opposing Pokemon. Right next to him is going to be Thunderous in the different form, not the normal form that we usually use. I don't really know the name of this form. I think it starts with a T. I'm not too sure, but we got this form. It hits harder. We got Bolt Absorb as our ability, so we can soak up electric shots. Life Orb to do more damage as our item. Protect, Thunderbolt, E-Web for speed control, and Dark Pulse for our coverage move. Middle left is going to be another heavy hitting Pokemon for this team. Sandstream Tyranitar with weakness policy. If you proc that weakness policy, we're going to be able to run this battle with this guy. Rock Slide and Crunch both for stab, high horsepower for a coverage move, and Dragon Dance to set up. Next to him, we got Sandrush Draco Fish, who's going to pair well with the Tyranitar because we double our speed in their Sandstream. So it's a win win. It's a win win. We got Mystic Water so our water moves hit harder. Protect, Substitution. Vicious Ren and Psychic Fangs. Do I need to say more about Draco Fish? This Pokemon's a beast and he can one tap almost anything with Vicious Ren. Bottom left is going to be Togekiss, our support mod for this team. Super Luck as its ability. Wakan Berry so we can soak up an electric shot. Protect, Dazzling Gleam, Helping Hand, and Follow Me. Final Pokemon is going to be another attacker for this team. It's going to be Kartana. I love this Pokemon. I think he's a great back end Pokemon because he's really fast and he can hit really hard. And then if he gets a KO, he gets that beast boost, gets that, gets that attack boost, and then just gets stronger and stronger over time. Assault Vest as its item, moveset is Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, both for stab, and then Sacred Sword and Aerial Ace for our coverage moves. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen. Also, the Poke Pace is down in the description below as well, so if you guys want to check that out and check out the stats, it's down there. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto that Ranked Double Ladder, try to get some wins with this Sand Rush Draco Fish and Defiant Obstacle Team. You gotta love it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one, going up against an off-meta team here, and I love playing teams like this. This guy is Luxray, Talonflame, Licky Licky, Vickabolt, Gengar, and Clefairy. But that leads me to question of the day since we're going up against like some off-meta Pokemon. And that is, what Pokemon would you guys like to see me use on the rank ladder? I would love to get you guys to answer down in the comment section down below because I would love to be on the lookout for teams that you guys want to see me play. But I absolutely love Vickabolt. I feel like I haven't played Vickabolt in a while, so maybe I should do a Vickabolt video in decent time so if you guys are down for that let me know in the comment section down below as well but who should i go into how should i lead this one you could go town playing for the tailwind i can definitely see that coming i could just go sand rush uh draco fishing just get rocking out from here that doesn't seem bad at all because then i should be able to uh no then he has gale wings and he does have gale wings i could go obscune and just start speed controlling i could go obscune into thunderous and rock out from there i do have volt absorb so that could uh be good up against Luxray. Luxray, I think it's going to be a Guts. But I'm going to lead the Obscune and Thunderous. I am going to bring Kartana in the back end, and then my final Pokemon could be my Togiwogi. Togiwogi could be good. <laughs> I'm thinking Togekiss is going to come in here. Or I can just go Draco. I do like my, myself some Draco fish. No, we're just going to rock out with Draco. Togekiss, we're going to chill in the back. We don't need Sandstorm for Draco fish. We've been using them for years without Sand much, and he's still been dominating the battles. And guys, I haven't switched my music. If you guys watched last video, this was the music in the last one. It was like nice and dreary, but get you get you going. So I gotta remember to change up the music in the next one. But what did we go last uh, last video? We went one and two with the uh, Garchomp and uh, Charizard Sun team. It was a really good team. We just I just feel like I didn't play as good as I should have. But we should have won two battles. We lost one to uh, Miss Attack, and then the third one I was just trying to mess around and test out the Pokemon on team. But this guy goes Clefairy and Licky Licky. Might switch a Rue and take off the Clefairy's Evo Light, choice Scarf him into whatever he's going to do, and then roll from there. Good Dynamax, or I can just uh, drop a nice little Thunder. E Bolt. Because who I have Kartana and uh, Draco Fish in the back. Actually, I am just going to Dynamax turn one. Actually, no, I'm not. I am not. Actually, yes, I am. We are indeed going to do that. And get it for Slicky Licky. Let's roll out with that. Let's Dynamax this boy. Try to get buzzing right off the rip. We are going to switch items, so I'm going to take off that evil light. You can go for follow me. 
he goes for follow me, we're just going to take off that Evo Light and hit him really hard. And he's probably going to go down without the Evo Light because Evo Light is a huge defense boost for any Pokemon that's not evolved. There we go. Thunders. Bang. I love this form. I love the way he looks in this form. I think it's so dope. Let's see how he plays this one. Just follow me. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Obstacle is going to be way faster than my Thunders because we are Choice Scarf right now. I'm just going to say, hey, see that item right there? Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Here, take my cups. Take my item. Give me your Evo Light. You can have that Choice Scarf. Now we're going to rock out with the Lightning, and this should be able to clear out the Club area, right? If not, we'll be able to hit it up later. Nope, it just says get out my face, dump on it, and get them out of here. Now I can switch items with anybody else, which is good. And just throw them in Evo Light and make sure they have no items. And more importantly, take off the item that they are using. Here's that. What is Licky Licky going for? I'm kind of scared of this Pokemon. Belly Drum? The Belly Drummer. It's drumming bellies, man. It's drumming belly. So this thing's attack is through the roof. Um, he did not use uh item yet. I could switch and take off its berry. It's gotta be berry, right? One thousand percent. Vicka Bolt. This thing's bolt absorbed, isn't it? This thing is bolt absorbed. Don't really want to mess with it. Um. Hmm. Do I knock off the deal damage and just take off his berry from there? Or I can use his berry to my advantage. Because he might Dynamax Licky Licky, right? Hmm. What do I want to do here? I could knock off, or I can just take his berry. I think he's just going to start one tap my Pokemon, so I am just going to knock it off. I do as much damage as I possibly can, and just go for Darkness. So I have to go for Darkness. I can't go for a Lightning due to the Vicka Volt being Life or uh, Volt. Right? It's Volt Absorb, right? I believe he learns that ability. I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive he does. So we're not even going to go for it. We're not even going to risk it. If I risk it and waste a whole Dynamax turn, we are done. It's Licky Licky Belly Drum. Real scary, guys. <laughs> Real scary, not even going to lie. Get some HP. I'm telling you, he's got to be rocking a Citrus Berry or like a different kind of berry. I'd rather just take that off when I get the chance. Here goes my Darkness. How much damage are we really going to do to this thing? We do do that much, but more importantly, we get that Defense Drop, which is huge. Oh, it's special defense. Dang, I thought it was defense. Phantasm is defense. I get them mixed up sometimes. So there's that. And of course, he uses his berry now. Of course, my Obscoon doesn't outspeed my Thunderous now. Now he gets a little bit more HP back. And we could have just uh, switched him. It's totally fine. Knockoff's going to come out here and just bring him back down to what we had him at. Max Strike's going to fly through. Probably take out my Thunderous, right? Belly jump. Eat it. Nope. We don't get to eat, but he gets a speed drop on us. So I got to bring out a fast Pokemon. Gotta bring out someone fast. Oh, an obstacle getting that Defiant Boost, which I, you gotta love. And is he gonna go for an Electric Boost? That's the real question. Now that my Thunder is down. Is he going to go for it? See what he does. See what he does from here. He's gonna go for a Sticky Web. He's just going for Speed Control here. He's just going for Speed Control, which is smart. I could go T-Tar. But then he, he's probably rocking that, uh... Hmm. Dang, man. I guess we gotta go Draco here. I mean, I can go for Icy Wind and slow him down. Because that should make my Draco Fish be faster than him. Actually, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it off. That's a problem. That's a problem. I mean, we are gonna go for it. And we're gonna go for the Suspicious Ren. Let's just go for it. We gotta go for it, you know? Let's see how this happens. Icy Wind Obscoon does outspeed, which is wonderful. Just wonderful. We get that speed drop and Fish's Wrench should be able to come out faster than Licky Licky now. Vickabolt might be a little bit faster than my Draco Fish. Actually, no, Vickabolt's rather slow, so yeah, Fish's Wrench comes out here. Licky Licky, get out of my face. So we finally get rid of that belly drum. Finally get rid of him. Now we just gotta start taking speed control. We have, uh, do we have Tyrantar in the back? Is that what it said? Oh, he's going for that. We're dead. Go for a Rising Bolt. That's probably gonna take us out. Okay. That's fine. We do have Tyrantar in the back. Maybe I should have brought out the Tyranitar before the Draco Fish, but I'm fine with this. So what are we down to? We're down to a 2v2 situation. And my Pokemon are starting to be, become slow. But again, I can just Icy Wind and start going after it, it that way. He brings out Luxray, which I'm not mad about. I got high horsepower on my Luxray. Or not my Luxray, on my Tyranitar. So there's that speed drop. The rising voltage is scary. It is scary. Alright. We're sitting here. I, I think I'm just going to go for another Icy Wind and slow down these guys and just drop a high horsepower. Right? High horsepower into you. Am I really worried about the Vickabolt? I think I'm more worried about the Luxray than the Vickabolt. 
Because Luxray can be Rocket Superpower. Oh, he's just going to drop a Wild Charge. He outspeeds my Obscune. Obscune is still able to eat, which is great. And now we should be able to go and drop an Icy Wind, right? Yep, Icy Wind. We're going to start taking speed control here. Solid battle. Solid battle going on here. Tyrantar should be faster than the Vicabolt. So we should just be able to get rid of this Luxray easily with this high horsepower. Right? Am I right? High horsepower comes out here. Take him out. Get him out of my game. Get him out of here. Run it. Yo, we, we play this one pretty well. Let's see what the Vic Volt's going to do. Another Rise of Voltage. Bug Buzz coming through. Eat sucks. Hey, yo, that's tasty. Nope. Takes him out, and it comes down to a 1v1. 1v1, and Tyrantar should be fast. Yeah, he's faster than the Vic Volt. That's now. And Vic Volt's taking buff at that. So I believe if I get off this rock slide, it's going to be over with. If it connects. Maybe I should do a little... Little prayer to the Poke Gods. Rockside, don't miss. Let's go. Come on. Our Heat Wave missed last game. Rockside, connect. There it is. Take him out for the win. Give it to us. Let's go. Let's go. Solid first battle. Outplayed a belly jump team. So that was actually a lot of fun. Got ourselves some win. Now we can hop to our second one and look to go back to back. Guys, I've been having a ton of fun on the ranked double ladder as recently. And it's because of these guys right here. People using a little bit of off meta and a little bit of meta Pokemon. It's just always fun to rock out up against them. But this guy is Porygon 2, Galarian Zapdos. Uh, what is it? Ranunculus or uh, that's how you pronounce it, right? I believe so. Then he has Kangaskhan, which is a cool off meta Pokemon. Whimsicott for Tailwind and Tapu Fini as his final mod. But looking to go back to back here. We have 25 seconds to pick. And I think I'm just going to lead the Sand Rush, guys. I think I'm totally fine. I gotta watch out for that defiant uh bird. I like that defiant bird's gonna come in here and do some work. But I think we should be fine going into the squad like this. Just leading sandstorm, get my Draco fish out there, trying to get some one taps going. But then he could tail me, he, which he's probably gonna leave. And guys, we changed the music too, so no more dreary music. We're getting pumped up. We're getting hyped. We're getting a win here. Hopefully, cannot guarantee anything, but we're going for it. You guys already know that. But that first battle was fun, considering he set up Belly Drum, and usually I don't really win a lot of Belly Drum battles. And I went, ended up winning that one, outplaying that guy from there, and rocking out. There goes Wimscom and Kangaskhan. Okay. Wimscom and Kangaskhan. I'm trying to remember what Kangaskhan is. Is this ability usually Anger Point? No, I used one, and he hits Ghost Typing. That was one of his abilities. He can, like, hit through Ghost Typing, which is pretty cool. Um, I am going to go for a Crunch. And actually, I could just, uh, I think I might just Dragon Dance here. Exactly what I'm going to do. Your boy's going to Dragon Dance, and I'm going to go for a Fishes Friend on Team Kangaskhan. Because even with the Tailwind, I still feel like we outspeed. He goes for a Switcheroo. He's going to take off my Mystic Water. Buttery Biscuit. What do you get in this? An Eject Button. That's fine. Oh, and he's going to Sucker Punch me. I'm with that. I'm with that. Now my, now my Tyrantar is getting off a free Dragon Dance? Oh, Sir, let's bring out Cartana. <laughs> let's bring out Cartana. Let's bring him out. Bring out Cartana, baby. That's right. Watch this. We get off a nice, lovely little Dragon Dance here. Bang. Attack plus one. Speed plus one. Now we're going to Dynamax Tyranitar. I can go for a steel move. Take out Wimscott. No problem. Because Sash is going to be going through the Buffets. And I'm going to get after his Kangaskhan and take him out. No problem. No problem. No problem for jeans. All right. Let's Dynamax. And do I go Rockfall? Or do I go for the special defense drop? I mean, does rock moves do more in Sandstorm? I always forget, so we're going to check it out. Sandstorm, uh, the Sandstorm weather condition at the end of these turn damages. That are not, and it boosts special defense of rock. Okay, so our special defense is boosted. Oh, no, I do not want to run. That is the last thing I want to do. I'm going to fight, and I think I'd rather get off a, uh, a special defense drop. Because Sandstorm wouldn't do anything. So we're going to drop that, and I'm just going to go for a smart strike and go into you. Considering it's stab, and it's going to do the most damage for Kartana. Let's run it. There's my Dynamax. Yo, Dragon Dance set up. He was more focused on that Draco Fish. I'm like, nah, son. We setting up that Tyranitar. <laughs> That's what's so deadly about the Tyranitar Sandstorm combo. That's why it's my favorite weather. It's like, it's like the Pokemon that's paired up with Tyr Tyranitar is usually a beast. It's either like extra Draco Fish now, but then Tyranitar is also a beast. So you got to watch out for both. It's really tough to play up against. Even though I think Sun is the best and range really cool as well. Actually, it's between Rain or Sandstorm for me. I think Sun's the strongest, but preferably I like Sandstorm or, uh, or what's it called, or Rain. They're my two favorites. I just, I just think Rain, there's a lot more to do than Sandstorm, but Sandstorm's just cool all around. Rain is the most versatile. Charm comes out here, it does not affect me. Silly Goose, I'm dark typing. Your pranks don't affect me. Now get out of my game. 
Let's see your boys learn. Your boys learn. Oh, we don't pick up the KO. That's whack. I thought that would pick up the KO easily. Here's this. And we're getting off some big damage on you. Kangaskhan's going to take a lot of damage. And we have speed. We have speed all day. It's a crit. It's a lovely little crit. Lovely little crit. And I'm surprised that Wimscott did not set up a Tailwind yet. And is he going to go for a Knuckle? He might go for a Knuckle. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a Flare. And he's going to change up the weather. So I'm definitely dropping a Rock next turn. And he's going to take you out for time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to let you know that. But. But. I know we're out. Oh. Are we going to outspeed? I know my Tyre Tyranitar outspeeds. But I can see him setting up a Tailwind here. Uh, let me see the speeds real quick. I want to see the speeds on these guys. 112, 139. Jerkerfish, you rock and protect. You rock and protect. You are. You are indeed. I'm going to protect you this turn. I'm just going to protect you because I can see a Tailwind coming in here and him going after the Jerkerfish. Then I'll drop a rock on Kangaskhan, start taking speed advantage, and rolling out from there. So we'll rock fall. Go here and put up a little shield. Put up a little barrier for my boy. Just to get that sand rush popping and rolling again. I don't want this guy having weather. Now my face. I'm not dealing with it. But I'm really surprised that that Kartana did not take out that Wimscott. Wimscott's usually will go down the most attacks. Especially Steel Shot. Super effective. From a Kartana who's a big physical attacker. But hey. I don't judge. I don't judge it. <laughs> Maybe I should have checked out the stats a little bit more. Here goes my Protect. Lock up on my fish. Because I want him. Because I want my boy later in the match. He's going to go for a Tailwind, right? Yep, there's Tailwind. Kangaskhan's going to go after my Dracofish. I think I might have made a nice little read here. Let's see what he does here. Just for a strike. Yeah, that's going after my Dracofish all day. He's going to drop our speed, which I, I guess I'm fine with. I mean, I mean, I guess I'm fine with. I'm already kind of slower than most. There's that speed drop. And now here goes my Rockfall. Give me weather control, Kangaskhan. Get out of my game. Just get him out of here. Get going, dude. Don't need you here anymore. Don't want to deal with you. Give me my weather back. And maybe, just maybe, these buffets will take out the Wimscott. If not, the next turn will. He does have charm, so. He might charm up onto my Dragon Rush. Might be his play. Buffets, take out. Nope, I knew it wouldn't. Did a little bit too much. One more buffet will take it out. So I might double down into whatever Pokemon he throws out here, which is going to be his top of Finny. Um, should I do that? Let me see Surge's out and about. Surge has Misty's. I mean, he can proc my policy with like a, a Moon Blast. And I can just say go home. <laughs> um, I might go for a special defense boost. I and mean, what other Pokemon do we think he has in the back end? Let me let me let me check his Pokemon. Could be the bird. I think it's gonna be the bird. Not even gonna lie. We shouldn't drop a rock to be honest with you guys. Just gonna drop this rock, and then uh, I guess we'll fish train over onto you. Because oh, I really want to get rid of this one, Scott. But I think Wimscott is going to charm up on the Majorica fish. And then who's our final mod? We have... These are the last two? No, we have... Uh, who was it? Who do we bring? Who do we bring? We brought Kartana, who's now dead. We brought Draco fish and Tyranitar for the lead. And was it... There's some... Oh, we Moonblast. He's Moonblasting. Can you eat that? You do not. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. You do not eat that. But who's our final mod? I can't even think of it. Did we bring Togekiss? I don't think we brought Togekiss. There's a calm mind, Joe. I'm totally fine with. It. You can calm mind. That's a special defense boost. And we are physical attacking, so physical attacking shots can come out here. Might be able to pick up the KO. We're plus one. I dig this. Let's see. Nope. Eats up all day. And Whips guy's gonna go down to buffets. That one is out and about though. Who did I bring? I can't think of it, and it's annoying me. It's thunderous. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm cool with thunderous. I'm so cool with thunderous. Top of Finny is boosted. There goes our Dynamax turns. Thunderous is coming out and about. And I think Thunderous is out speeds all day. But I don't really have to worry about the Top of Finny. I can just take you out. I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide. Because Rock Slide will be able to take out or, and do big damage to both these guys. And then do I just go for an E-Web? I think I E-Web. Oh, do I E-Web? He is Defiant. He is Defiant, which I don't like. We're definitely sliding full of these rocks. Could protect you. Um... He's gonna protect somebody. What do I go after? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go after Zapdos. Let's get after it. Zapdos might be faster than my, uh. Than my, uh. What's it called? 
my thunders but we'll see we shall see Let's see what he does Let's see what his play Let's see what his play of the day is He's gonna end up protecting his apples you buttery biscuit Arantar, you gotta be able to eat this moon blast okay don't protect yo dude i'm totally fine by that i'm cool with it i was gonna say that, that was a good uh protect but he double protects for what is it to get rid of the sandstorm i think we have plenty of turns in the sandstorm I think we have plenty of turns in the sandstorm. He's just gonna take buffet damage, which is fine by me. And my thunders. Maybe he thought my thunders might be sash, so he's just like, let me let me get the buffets on him and take off the sash. That could be my only thought process to that double protect right there. But we're gonna rock slide again, and we're going to drop a T bolt. That is the plan. Let's get it. Give me my win. I want it. It's gonna be close because I don't know if the bird outspeeds me. The bird doesn't. We should be chilling. We should be able to one-tap it, no problem. Let's get after it. The bird does outspeed. Thunder's Kick's probably going to take out my, uh, my, uh, T-Tar, right? Yeah. No problem whatsoever. I just need Thunder's to take this out, and we should be, we should be the wrong good. He outspeeds me. That's game. We lost, man. Oh, he has Tailwind, right? Is he Tailwind rocking? He gets that special attack drop, but, oh, no, I thought we were defiant. But we're not. I guess it's T-Bolt. That KOs you. If Tailwind's over, we win. If not, I do have Protect, so I can waste out Tailwind all day. Let's see what happens. Buffets come out here. Should have Protect, right? And Tailwind should end. Does Tailwind end? He's left over. Right? Is that why he's outspeeding me, Tailwind? I totally forgot about it. Yep, there's Tailwind. Okay. Tailwind ends. We got speed now. All I need to do is land this bolt with the 100 accuracy. Get it. Get it. Give me that win. Give me that win. Come here. Top of Finny. I need to tell you something. Top of Finny. Come here. Top of Finny. I'm not going to tell you again. Come here. Oh, you going to protect. All right. All right. He's just trying to get these buffets off and trying to get a little bit more HP here. Thunderbolts can come out here. We're fine. We are fine. Sandstorm subsides. It subsides. It's in our favor. Yes, sir. Feels like he's... Top of Finny has extreme speed or something like that. Sucker Punch, but what you mean? Yo, Top of Finny, come here. I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something, Top of Finny. Get out of my face. Get out of my game. Get out of here. Go on, get. Get. Let's go, baby. Back to back wins 2 0 to start off this video. We can hop into our third and final battle and look for that perfect record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We are going up against a Turtonator team alongside with Blastoids, Thunderous, Landorus, Rillaboom, and Urshman. So, pretty meta team right here. A lot of people have been using this on the rank ladder as of recently, considering a lot of PokeTubers have been using this team on a video and showcasing it all. I personally haven't seen any of the videos, so I have no idea what these uh, Pokemon are going to do here. I know probably Shell Smash Blastoids, but Turtonator is scaring me a little bit. Uh, we got the two wins, so, yo, we're thriving. We're thriving. We got that winning record guaranteed, and... I'm gonna see who I wanna go into. I'm trying to look at his team and kind of figure out what he's gonna do. He has that Defiant, so I gotta watch out for that. I'm gonna leave that Obscure, because I've been, I really like the Obscure. I am Defiant with him. Doesn't intimidate. I am gonna lead Obscure. I think I'm gonna go Obscure and Thunderous. They have Volt Absorb. He does have Defiant. He does have that ground typing as well. And I kinda of just wanna bring in Big Squad here. Tokus. I don't think Tokus is gonna see any love today. I don't think Togi Bogey's gonna see any love today, but it's gonna be a longer, uh, a little bit longer video than normal. So I would say normal is like 25 to 30 minutes, so I think it's gonna be a little bit longer than normal considering the first two battles were really good. They were great battles to show off on video, a little bit longer and drawn out, but we got to show off the team to its fullest potential and get some wins for you guys. But let's see who this, oh, this guy's all decked out in gold. He's looking spiffy. Looking real spiffy. He's gonna lead that Thunderous and his Blast Storms. His toys full of blasting. Alright, that thing has Eerie Impulse, but... Oh, we are special attacking with this one. That could be tough news. I could take item. I could Icy Wind and just slow down. I am probably going to do. He's, there's no way he's Volted to him, right? You think he's Volted to him? <laughs> I don't think he's Volted to him. I think he's going to be Defiant. Or Prankster. But I think it is safe. Do Dynamax and go into a... Lightning of on the blast ones. I think it's a safe play. I don't know if that one learns Volt Absorb. That's my problem. But I'm just gonna Icy Wind. I'm gonna Speed Control with this Choice Scarf. 
Much I would love to switch a room. We're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. I might eventually swap out the Obstagoon just to get him another choice star turn later in the match. But we'll see from here. Right now, I'm just gonna use him for speed control and have Thunderous uh, start popping. Let's see what he does from here. You're gonna end up Dynamaxing the Blastoise or Thunderous? Blastoise or Thunderous? I'm kinda hoping it's Thunderous, you know? But it could be Blastoise. It is the Blastoise. So he's gonna G Max up on the Blastoise. Hopefully, he's not dropping an Eerie Impulse on me. Because if he does, that's pretty much GG's. Because I don't have Dynamax to be rocking out with that. But he could think I'm physical. Eerie Impulse comes out here, and we're Bolt Absorb. Ooh, he is going to do that. I totally forgot that. That soaks up that. The Bolt Absorb comes out there. We're able to Icy Wind. Drop some speed. No Eerie Impulse ain't working on me, baby. Get it out my face. It's a big old speed drop. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Here goes our Lightning. How much damage are we really going to do here? I don't think we're going to KO, but we're still going to do a good bit. Cool. Ooh. Ouch, man. Big damage there. That's some big damage. Um, I see one won't pick up the KO. That's our problem, right? There goes this candy aid. That's huge. Candy aid's huge. Okay. That's going to KO me. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious. Don't tell me that Vortex takes me out. Don't tell me that Vortex takes me out. I think it's going to take me out. I did 28 damage. Eat it up. Eat it. Yes. <laughs> All right. We're able to eat. I'm going to go for another Icy Wind. Icy Wind. Hmm. I mean, I might as well. Right? He's going to go down to uh, what's called damage. He's going to go down to uh, Life Orb damage. Unless this Icy Wind KOs him. Let's see how this goes. Because I would love to go uh, Dynamax for Dynamax here. If I can get off one more turn with my Dynamax Pokemon... We could be thriving because I have the boys in the back. You guys know who the boys are. We got the T Tar and Draco Fish combo. And we still have our option, which could be huge. So if I could just get off one more turn for our Dynamax move, we'll be thriving. You know which all you would go into who? Gonna be somebody I can lightning? Bruh. Bruh, there's our Defiant Boost. There is our Defiant Boost. Dang it, man. And I was thinking of going for a darkness, man. Okay, he guards. Okay. I'm with it then. I, I, I like that. I dig that. <laughs> I dig it. I'm with it. I'll just drop a darkness this turn. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. I forgot about the vortex. <laughs> vortex takes me out. Uh, we have speed. We have speed. Do I go Tyranitar though? I think I'm gonna go Tyranitar here. Yeah, I'm gonna go Ty Tyranitar here. Cause I'm gonna just drop a Rock Slide. I think Rock Slide would be the play. Just in case the Icy Wind does not pick up the KO. I just think Rock Slide's the play. Sandstorm's gonna be popping. We're taking weather control. Run it. Blastoids is minus one. Gonna be minus two. About to be. And same thing with uh, Landorus here. We should drop a slide full of rocks. Get my stab damage rolling. And get that speed control. Obstacle, I'm loving Obstacle. With that choice scarf, just you have so many different options. You can switch items real fast. You can take speed control. You can knock off items. If they're rocking special attackers, which they were with the Blastoids, but I just thought that the uh, the speed control was way better for this team in this battle. That was more of my decision. But if they're rocking special attackers, you could just snarl up with the choice scarf, which you guys know, pestering with snarl is a very effective way. To win battles, because you can control a lot, especially if they Dynamax a big old special a special attacker like Blastoids in the beginning. You just go out from there. But he's gonna withdraw. And he's gonna go into you, which is totally fine by me. I'm just gonna ice you when to slow you down. Uh, does that take out the Blastoids? It does not. That's why I did go into this uh, Rock Slide. Cause look at that. I did like maybe one HP. But the speed drop is more important, and this could be some big old damage. Let's see how this happens. Rock Slide connects. Blastoids gone. Thunderous out my match. Get him out of here, yo. We're rocking out here. Critical hit onto that Thunderous, but I think we were taking him out regardless. That's an easy double kill. This is going to be an easy win just to clean up. We withdrawed for the Intimidate again, but but we go with the Fine again. But I think we're but I think we're choosing to a special attack and move. Vortex is chipping up. But so, we're going to be able to take speed so easily. Like, Icy Winds are just sending here. We're just sending them. Speed is in our favor. That's why I love E-Web and uh, Icy Wind. I think they're such 
uh, like underrated moves for like new Pokemon players. Like when I first started playing competitive Pokemon, I was like, oh, I just want attacking moves on my team. Like that's how you play like the main story. But when you come into competitive, like you realize how viable certain moves are. Like Icy Wind and Evo. Like I would never really use them in a regular game. But in this, I'm like, dude, these moves are amazing. The fine gives us the boost. We are attack boosting. And we are attack dropping. <laughs> Uh, let's just Icy Wind. That's super effective. Is it? Wait, let me see. That's special, right? Yeah, special. Knock off is uh, this good, but I'm going to this. And then I just slide a crunch for a big old crunch. Yeah, I'd rather just go for a rock slide. Actually, I'm just going to crunch onto this Urge too. Or do I just bring this down? I'm just going to take out this. Uh, I'm going to take out this Landers. He's going to attack the whole yo. Good. Good change by me. Good change by me last second. Icy Wind comes out here, yo. That's going to solidify. That's the dagger right there. The dagger for this match is Gene swapping that. I was going to go after Urshfu, but I was just like, eh, let's go after this Intimidate because I know I could take him out. I know I could take him out and bring this down to a 3v1 with that Drink of Fish in the back with the Sandstorm rolling. And we do not even take him out because we were minus one. That might not be the dagger. Eat, boys. Eat! Tyranitar eats. Okay, so that's good. I ran to our eats. There's our policy. And uh, Urshfu's probably fastest on the field. Actually, Draco Fish is going to be faster than him. Okay. Oh my god, dude. The Vortex. Really. Really the Vortex, man. Alright, real question is. Dang, dude. Are you kidding me? That's like, like Every time I say, like, oh, like we got this one in the bag. I feel like we always lose. I forget, and we were minus one, and the vortex keeps coming in to haunt me. Okay, I can fish a shred. He's not going to detect again, so I'm going to go after you. Might sucker punch on me. That, that's probably going to be his play. I'm going to get rid of you. Hopefully, we can eat up a sucker punch and whatever move Landers has to offer. Gonna be good. I wonder how many turns we have left in Tailwind, cause that, or not Tailwind, uh, Sandstorm, because that's gonna be a huge factor in this battle. Let's see what happens here. Fish Run comes out here. This should, right? Should be able to pick up the with the Mystic Water. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Miss. I need you to miss Lando. EQ comes out. Man, dude. Man, dude. If we took him out, that's GG's, but hey, can't complain. That was a solid third and final battle. Vortex was definitely MVP. I think it took out two or three of my Pokemon, but we ended up going 2 or one and catching that winning record for you guys. Had a really great time recording with this team today. I think all around it was tons of fun. We got the T-Tar and Draco Fish combo, which is always powerful, but we got the show off Obscoon, who I really, really liked. We had the knockoff for item knockoffs, Snarl for special attack control, Icy Wind for speed control, Switch to swap items, and then our final Pokemon that we used a lot was Thunderous, who was awesome. He hits very hard with that Life Orb, and we got to show him off with some Bolt Absorb when that uh, Thunderous went for that Eerie Impulse. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.